Hey there, cats and kittens. This is Felly Cat, and welcome back to the game I didn't think I could play, Fallout New Vegas. Last time, I just basically got the intro to the game and didn't really get to play very much because I kept screwing up the game. Well, I kept screwing up what I was supposed to be doing at any rate. So hopefully, things will go more smoothly today, and I won't have to uh, redo a bunch of shit over and over again because that's no fun. There's Cheyenne! That's my water bottle. Don't mind the click. Now, what am I supposed to do? Oh no. controller is having this weird thing that it does where it decides that I'm pushing buttons I'm not pushing. Specifically the left trigger. That safety better be on. I don't know how to stop doing this. Great. The game thinks I'm permanently in freaking. Hold on. I have a thought that might possibly fix this. I guess it's okay for now. Yeah, that keeps happening. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I bumped the controller or something, or, or what I did. But I was playing Saints Row, which I also didn't think I could play, but I can. And uh, all my cars permanently are trying to go in reverse because it thinks I'm pushing the, that button on my controller, and I'm not. So it's a little bit of a problem. Anyway. Oh, snippy snap, I can only track one at a time. Are you freaking kidding me? I guess this will be the... Let's start with this one. Throwing cans around. I'm freaking brilliant today, man. That looks a lot really weird. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just a weirdo. I'll uh, see you guys later. Oh, this is interesting. That's what I can do there. kinds of stuff. Do I just see? Oh, that's awful. Not interested in that. I did look for a mod that would make it so I didn't have to shoot in dogs, but I couldn't find one. Apparently it doesn't exist. 
Uh, I would love that. If anyone can make it and contact me, please do. There's an actual tumbleweed. That's close enough. Oh! Who are you? And what hey, do you bro. want with me? Sorry about the gun. Not an enemy, I promise. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? No, I don't. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. Okay. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. So I also it's why it you won't see saying. caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Sure. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Yeah, right. I totally believe everything you just said. Uh... I don't really have enough to do this, do I? Oh god, I guess this is what I'm doing. I don't understand this game. Why am I doing this? I'm stupid. what I'm doing. I still don't know what this is.
I have no idea what the hell this game is. I, I, I don't understand. Usually when a game throws something like this at you, they give you some kind of explanation first, but no! We don't do that in this game. What is it? Do you know a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Or did you know there's a guy? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Mm-hmm. Why are they after you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took yeah, a few of the bandits happen. down before I ran, so I figured their friends are out for revenge. Uh, okay. So, what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Let me see what I can do. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Gotcha. So, now I'm completely broke. Because this jackass took all my money. Well, it's my own fault, and I recognize that, of course. Still getting used to the controls here. Don't mind me. gonna be me sucking at the game a caravan I'm not even going to bother because I will never get that. It's much too ridiculous for my brain. I'm really bad at card games, so not not even gonna try. It's it's a terrible thing, and I will be terrible at it. K 
Can I please put the gun away? Or at least I'll have it out there. Why do why am I constantly in like I'm gonna kick your ass stance? Why can't I just relax? Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, you wanna help me with Ringo? Say no more. I'm in. Oh! That was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Yes, they However, will. between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A what silver tongue Trudy? would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Oh boy. Alright, talk to you later. I'll be waiting. So we gotta get all these people to help out somehow. And here I am that I am having just lost all my caps in a stupid card game that I hate passionately already. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see that me again creepy. so soon. What can I do for you? Well, oh, this is a lot. We're gonna be attacked by some bandits. What can you do? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Yeah, well, you know, oh, that's I'm not the much we good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You're great, Doc. Thanks. You take care now. That was the easiest. I figured it would be. Even in a post-apocalyptic America, doctors are good people. Well, most doctors are good people. I have zero caps. Howdy. Hey, Chad. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, we need supplies to fight the powder Now gangers. just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Oh, wow. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Um.
Take it easy now. Well, I don't have a thousand caps. As a matter of fact, I don't even have one. So, uh, this this whole thing that, that you're talking to might not, yeah. me if I wasn't going in literal circles. I did just go in a little circle, didn't I? You looking to buy some supplies? Sure! Can do. Take it easy now. I got nothing you want. Big shock. What the hell? I can't, I can't leave. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God, what, are you serious? What in the hell, game? God. That was weird. Okay. Um right, the saloon, Judy. Trudy. Sorry. Right. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Hey Cheyenne. Hello. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Be careful out there. Oh, Snappy Sue. I got skill points, yo. Well, it just so happens I need some skill points. I get a perk. 
Pero... That's interesting. Oh my! <laughs> That might actually be very helpful. Oh, there are a lot of perks. I think I'll go with this one, though. Yeah, I'll take that. Well, now I can give it to Chet! To, uh, to help us. Hey, it's terminal. Cool. I'm not stealing. I'm just looking for the exit, actually. I got turned around. That happens to me a lot in games. Okay, Chet. I done leveled up and got extra points in bartering. You'll help me now, yes? You looking to buy some supplies? No. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gamers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Sure, let's take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Oh, I do understand. Thank you. Take it easy now. Problem being, I still have to convince Trudy. And I don't know how to... Well, like, I guess I could go whack some animals or something. I don't know. Let's see what's in the quest log real quick here. Oh, I'm an idiot! The X button does that. <laughs> Okay, well that's cool. I now know how to do that. That's great. Drag down the swords, find that, do this. Investigate, they went that way. I don't know which would be the best one. Oh yeah, easy Pete. Uh, where is he? Um, somewhere in town, I imagine. I don't believe I've met him yet, actually. Oh, that's point of me to Trudy. Trudy won't help me yet. I'm starting to understand the compass a little bit better now. Doc's house. That's Ringo. Not Pete. Hey, I found eight caps in the dumpster. Yay, me. Okay, so that's Trudy. I'm 
not a fan of this map system. That's where Ringo is. Saloon is where Trudy is. So what about this peak guy? The left trigger doesn't work right. showing two markers. Is what's his name in the saloon too? Oh god, I'm overburdened. Stop doing that! Controller's going funky on me. I don't know what the hell's going on. I guess I'll check in here. Oh. Howdy. Hello. I hear you've got dynamite to help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Okay. Yep. What do you know about this guy? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. Okay, so. Yep. I don't have the goods to convince this guy to help either. I think I need to go get some experience hey. points. But from where? Where is this? Oh, that's quite a ways off. Where is Stop doing that! Where is this? That's way far. Okay. We'll go there. And we'll rework up our gun to be safe. Sheepy shoopers. They're cute. I don't care what anyone says, they're cute. There be a red dude over there. Hello? Can you help me? What's going on? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Uh, where? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. So, over here?
Looks like I'm on the right track. Underway. Oh god, there's a lot of them. And they know no, I'm here. Great. Just what I always wanted. Well, that's definitely worth carrying around. Now the question is, is the girl okay? Or was I too slow? person is definitely not okay. Okay, they've been here a while though. That's not new. That's not new at all. Well, I killed a bunch of geckos, but I don't see the girl anywhere. I miss. Sorry about your look, Johnny.
I'm still within my weight limit, so why am I walking like a snail? Okay. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. Oh, Aha. you're funny. Come on. Somewhere down over yonder way, I believe there's a place to lay my head. What a jackass. Does it look like I know what time it is? You think so, right? What is, what is this? Oh, it's just an outfit. I'll take it. You never know. What's on the suitcase? Nothing, I guess. Will you stop acting like you're in battle? You're freaking not. Never know what might be useful. I certainly don't. Ah, it's 
Yeah, go. Is this not the... Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Okay. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Understood. Is it this the place of with the thing now? Thank goodness. I was waiting for that. Man. Drugs are bad. Unless they're given to you by a doctor for a specific purpose. And even then they can still be bad. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. You want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Uh, sure. Ma'am? Or I'm trying to go, can I? That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to discover, that I can't go where I want to go. Guess I'll talk to the lieutenant then. If you my heart, Hello. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic so Army, 5th sure Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Oh, you uh, what are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Yeah. 
Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. Of course they did. And have been ransacking the area since then. That's what they do. Not much. They've taken to call oh, themselves powder guys. gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Good to know. I have some free time. Ask away. Uh, never mind. Ma'am. What do you think you're doing? Talking? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I can't control that. The gun literally has a mind of its own. Alright, screw this. How do I do the thing? Fuck it. I ain't trying to blow myself up or have somebody shoot at me. to say no one dared to ask his business no one dared to make a slip the strange rings man among them had a big iron what can i say hip. big iron on his head it was early in the morning when he rode into the town he came riding from the south side slowly looking all around Oh, she's I, I, woo, uh huh. Yeah, see, the thing is. In this town, there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. And they tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was busy, and he was a youth of 24. And the notches on the I'm trying to find a dude to talk to about the thing. Why are you shooting at me? Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. Was an Arizona ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive, he may be dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red But the outlaw didn't worry men to try for forward day Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip Twenty one Big Iron Big Iron is here The morning passed the street. It was twenty past eleven. Out in the street. Everybody held their breath. They knew this. I mean, 
mean, he was a skid convict. I don't feel too bad about that. There was 40 feet between them when they stopped to make their play. Hey, money. And the swiftness of the Other money. Still talked about today. Dynamite. Texas red is not Hell to me, I'll take all that shit. And the ranger's aim was dead. Jack has a threat to kill me. I'll take your shit when he dies. Big iron on his it was over in a moment and no, I'm not sure exactly what these guys did to become convicts, but it's probably nothing good. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Human decency being what it is and all. Oh, he might have went on a little. Oh, it's a casino. He made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Big iron, big iron. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? No, it's pointing me this way. In fact, it's pointing me in the casino. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure before I did a barging in there, because, you know, shit happens and you do that. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. I'm looking for somebody. Johnson you? Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Excuse me, you're the guy I need to talk to. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. You don't understand. I lost a package. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, what can you tell me about this? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about that? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Huh. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let courier six carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Who the hell am I that I'm that... What? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. Mm -hmm. They stole my package. Do you know anything about this crap? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for his supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Great. One of them shot me. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He and my friend, bro. You may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Don't go getting yourself shot. Ha ha ha! Okay, well that explains a lot without explaining anything at all. Great. Typical. 
Hey there. What's up? Hey, you. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Great. Who are they? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Sure, why not? Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Right. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. See it. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Sure it is! Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. What about the hotel? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealer's over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. That's propaganda. Okay, thanks. Happy trails, partner. So that's the car, huh? <laughs> this 9mm machine gun, submachine gun, excuse me, preserved in the glass case, the lead is black, is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrap box and his suitcases in the truck of his car during his Mickey's crime <laughs> They were real bad outlaws. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended a notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. So long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip or even more if he had initial animal clips to remember to reload. <laughs> and took the damn gun. Whoa! Hey ho! Mannequins! Naked mannequins! Cause the, these mannequins roughly is, yep, yep, except that they're gone. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? This is great. Oh, it's a roulette table. I've never gambled in my life. But I know what these things are from movies and shit like that. Because I'm not an idiot. Howdy. Hello. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Oh, you're friend, the huh? same dude. Yeah, never mind. Where can I get a The Beagle about had the... some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the pot okay. of gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Thank you kindly. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. Stuck, you say? First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. I could probably do that. Yeah. Come 
on gangsters. I thought they were powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Remember that, brother. All right, see you later. Yeah, bye. I don't play caravan. It sucks. I suck at playing it, so I'm not gonna do it. If you want to watch somebody play caravan? Sorry, go find another playthrough because I can't. It's too dang darn complicated for my little head to wrap itself around. Well, I'm sure if I put the time and effort into it, I could learn it and figure it out, but I'm not interested in it. I'm not into card games, so. Let's see what's going on in the hotel. Why did I just know? missing this jackass. I understand the concept, people. Okay, I'm not... I'm not stupid. I'm just fucking bad luck right now. Yeah, you're so scurry. I'm terrified of you, fool. Oh, he's gonna beat me with a tire iron, huh?
I wasn't exactly expecting this to be a dungeon. But hey, I'm here now, right? Okay, fine. Then I guess it's not an easy luck to pick, is it? Why to me like that, jackass? That's for Nuka Cola. Oh, don't bark, rads. I don't even see a thing to measure my rads. I thought I was already in the hotel, but sure, let's open this door. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Hello, could am I gonna do that clear? Seriously. Don't 
don't know what that sound was, but I don't think I liked it. I'm sure you need 25 to fix the radio. Which I promised Trudy I would try to do. Come on! did he? Coolio. Okay, I'm out of here now. I don't think there's any way out through that way, so I'll go back the way I came. Oh, hey, dude. how they call for help and nobody comes. Clearly they don't like you very well. Not, not enough to risk their lives to save you anyway. I like that it tells me when stuff is empty so I don't have to waste my time, even though I always do, because I'm an idiot. Totally, you should come say hi!
Aha! Heading up! I'm hit. Will you all stop fucking running? You know, I uh, tried to measure my charisma on a vitamin vigor tester once. The machine bursts into flames. All the latest news coming your way right now. Scavengers report hulking individuals moving around Hidden Valley after dusk, but have been unable to identify them due to low visibility. Also in the headlines, tensions are brewing in Freeside between the ruling gang known as the Kings and the large number of NCR squatters seeking refuge there. The leader of the kings, who would only identify himself as the king, voiced his displeasure calling NCR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. He added oh, nice. he didn't want to see the NCR in the ghetto and call for a mass, quote, return to sender. This program was brought to you by Gamora. Gamora. It'll be our secret. And now, I'd like to play one of my very favorite songs for you. Alright, well, that fool ran away. I have no idea where he went. I don't really care. She's gone. Rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke Around the corner, apparently, is where he went. Didn't have too much to say. Some freaking how. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. It was early in I'm sure the I'll find him again eventually. He rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and running, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, the youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol numbered one in 19 more. One in 19 more. How do you put 94 notches now on a pistol? Stranger started talking, made it, play, it doesn't make sense. Around. Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Wasn't long okay, this navigation is starting to annoy me. Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. He's there. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on! The morning passed. No!
his hip. Big iron on his head. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body uh, of the outlaw a door I on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. I believe there's a story here. Iron on his hip. No, not that door. No, open that door. Big this iron, door. Big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. The guy on his head. Or not that door? Put the gun down so you can move faster. Good lord, that's irritating. This is gonna annoy the fuck out of me. Oh, ain't you glad to sing? Oh, and that song ain't so very far from wrong. Yeah, I think that was right there, right? I'm pretty sure that was it, yeah. Shit. Oh, where in the hell does this key go? So it ends at least probably. 
And that is why you hack. Shit, I'm stuck behind the I'm stuck behind the door. Ignoring those lips I adore. But how long can anyone try? Oh, it's been a while since anyone's been in here. Something's gotta give. Radiation hasn't been a problem yet. Ooh, bubble I don't think it was in this room but me. And, uh, this is Radio yeah. New Vegas, and uh, I'm your host, Mr. New Vegas. And in case you're wondering if you've come to the right place, you have all the latest <laughs> news coming your way right now. I thought Rumors maybe the key would be still locked, but it isn't. Mutant refuge nestled high in the ski lodge to That's the northwest. If you should find it, do not repeat. Do not belittle a super mutant for taking the bunny slope. Also, scavengers report hulking individuals moving around Hidden Valley after dusk, but have been unable to identify them due to low visibility. The news has been brought to you by the Vicky and Vance Casino. Vicky and Vance, be our partners in crime. Have hey, well, you ever been in love with like a celebrity? celebrity? Now come on, you don't have to be shy. I feel it between us two. Sometimes you can't help being mad about the boy. Well, I temporarily escaped the damn button glitch that I've been having, so I'm happy about that. Oh, this probably goes to the other door I couldn't open. This one, specifically. Yes. Because I are a big dumb dumb. Is anyone down here? Well, there must be some reason to come here. He melts my foolish heart in every single Although I'm quite aware that here and there Nicely done! Problem being now some of the jackass is coming. I just getting jumped. Really or apparently I don't give a shit about their dead friend. Good for me, I guess. Not you. I take it you're the one I'm here to rescue? Hi. Lots of alcohol. Do I? I don't actually have the carrying space for any of it. Sit tight. I'll come back for you in a minute. something magic in the air tonight and I'm not just talking about the gamma radiation all the latest news coming your way right now refugees at Bitter Springs are giving this startling so accounts of the legate known as Lanius who is said to be Caesar's top field commander one refugee told us the legate's over and underperforming squad of troops by beating its commander oh 
shiitake. The legate then ordered a tenth of his own force be killed by the other night. And you thought your boss was Oh my god. Rumors persist. I want freaking fire. Nestled high in the ski lodge. Brought to you by the Tops Casino. You dig us, baby. We're the Tops. In New Vegas, we know the pain that numbers can bring us. Well, so does Guy Mitchell. Guy Hard aches by the number. Well, this is not a situation I wanted to be in. But here we are. Yeah, I, 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 I'm hurt. I'm quite hurt. But you know what? Fuck this guy. Hey, you! I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. Lucky day. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Lucky for you, I'm a good person. What do you know about these cons? My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. Understood. Be careful out there. They're all dead, dude. Every single one of them. I wiped them out. You're welcome. So, uh... The women of New Vegas ask me a lot if there's a Mrs. New Vegas. Well, of course there is. No fear about You're running into her. these people. And They're all gone. Tell us perfect is the day we met. Hey, dude. And now the news. NCR officials at Camp McCarran were relieved when technical difficulties with its monorail line to the New Vegas Strip proved easy to fix. One anonymous official told us that you're getting one, you're getting one would have been a disaster because of the age of the train and the scarcity of the replacement parts. Also in the headlines. Citizens of Outer Vegas are flocking to the Strip in droves amid a wave of terror caused by a band of raiders known as the Fiends. Those who can afford passports are saying the added security is well worth the price of admission. You know, I think all news, hey there. whether it's good or bad, brings us closer together. Don't you? Ladies well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, that. didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Oh! The problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? So you're a bullshitter. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I, I was uh, performing recon gathering information on some of the powder gangers when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. 
They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? Yeah, that was me. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? You're a sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Right. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. Okay. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Interesting. <laughs> they did shoot the deputy. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'll see what I can do about it. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. I'll keep that in mind for the next episode. Howdy. Howdy indeed. I think you mean see you later. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for me for now. So next time we'll try to find a share for this old town and go back to Pri or Pri Good Spring and see what we can do about these jackasses who are trying to mess with them. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.